Patrick Allure, wherever you look around the Stade Chambouin here in Paris. Cup semi-final number two. France against Fiji. Rob Brickerman. What an atmosphere. What an atmosphere. I'm sure people around the world can hear and feel this incredible noise bouncing around. I cannot wait to see how good this game's going to be. They've got back a tower to entertain as well as pretty much all 12 of the Fijians. This is going to be epic. The referee for this one is Scotland's Mike Adamson, an experienced referee on the circuit now as we get set for Cup semi-final number two between France and Fiji. Kurohua sends it high into Fijian territory. It's brought down by Nakarawa. And Ravuvu gives it off to Jerry Tuwai. Back to Ravuvu. And here's big Leone Nakarawa gets the handoff going and the offload and another one there. Back here for Jasavera Malua, pushing Burahua out of the way. Pops it off to Isaki Kotonim Bao. But the big covering tackle from Vinami Vakatawa knocks it clear. And didn't the crowd love that? He's got some cheers this weekend for his attack, but that is out and out try saver. Nakawa doing what he does, he's going to offload all day, expect that. Bro Malua, get out of the way, Terry, excuse me, mate. And then look at this cover tackle. Thinks he's in for all the money in the world. Katoni Bao gets the ball knocked out. Vakatawa, this is why you're so good. Big time play from Virami. Needs to do it at both ends of the park. Prevented a certain try there for Fiji. Here come Lebler. Trying to run it out of there. Ah, through Stefan Perez. Salinha swings it across, goes to ground that pass. A break here for Steve Barry. Steve Barry's got a man inside. One man to beat, gets away from Velamalua. Off to Lacapia. Lacapia moves it up to the halfway line and just slips under the tackle there of Tuisolva. Urahua digs it out. There is, here's Bakatawa. Bakatawa, the crowd on their feet and taken care of big time by Ramuvu with some help from Katon and Bao I think Misaki Katon and Bao wanted to get one back on Bakatawa there Rob and you see it time and time again as Barry makes him run this Fijian defence a rare missed tackle from killing a sow but whenever Fijians play against each other it just is cataclysmic big shots coming in left right and centre expect Bakatawa to be targeted and expect him to absorb it like a sponge. So Jerry Tuwai will throw to this line out, but it's won by France. Lacapia climbing high for the turnover at the line out. Here's Stefan Perez, gives it across to Steve Barry, and look who's got it. It's Vinami Vakatawa. He's in the corner, and the crowd have gone mad here. Listen to the bouncing noise coming through Vakatawa. The crowd factor plays a huge part in big games like this. Great set piece from France. Another rare missed tackle from Fiji in the middle of the pitch as Perez this time skips outside of one, two and ships the ball wide. Vakatawa is going to finish this all day. It is so loud, it makes you run faster, harder for longer. Vakatawa dotting down against Fiji. So Burahua with the conversion attempt, he's got the distance, but not quite the direction on that occasion. Well, Burami Bakatawa, a naturalised Frenchman, brilliant for France in the Six Nations. His fourth try in Paris this weekend, and give him the ball. The French captain restarts play. Lacafia chases it. Been knocked back though for Fiji, and this is Rabuvu, and he little chip over the top that has fallen into the hands of Jonathan Logel. Dalinha. Dalinha pops it back to Perez, and here's Lacafia. Lacafia loves a bit of go forward. This Pierre Gilles Lacafia. A long pass to nobody over here from Terry Burahua, and it's been picked up by Tuisova. And a penalty now to Fiji as well, so. Unfortunate there for the French skipper. He thought he had some support, but there was just nobody there. 
Gets on him bow. Gets on him bows off the better Malua. Just a better Malua. Can he get away from Lakafia? He can't, but the offload works to Nakarawa. And this is Tui Silva. And Tui Silva is just too strong. Too big, too strong. He has got arms like legs and legs like trees. He runs through people like they're not even there. But very well, look at this grip on the ball. He puts it down, regathers his grip, feeds it back inside. Lovely little flick ball. Tui Silva just hanging in the background there. Excuse me, Terry. Once again, I'm off to the try line. Get out my way. One of the sponsors were giving away one of those, some of those mini rugby balls earlier on. And when he holds the ball, Veramalu, it's like he's holding one of those, isn't it? It's extraordinary. Such amazing skill and control. Here's Ravuba with the conversion. Has he got it? Yes, he has. Vatimo Ravuvu puts Fiji in front. It's often said in rugby, there's piano pushers and piano players. And what we're seeing here are six foot five inch Mozarts. There's a band here inside the Stade Jambuan. And they've been playing all afternoon and supporting their team. And that kickoff from Ravubu hasn't gone to 10, so... But France have taken it and they offload. The little knock on. France chose to play that. And the chance for Ravubu here, he's got the ball. France went a bit to sleep there. Here's Logel. But it's gone back to Jerry Tuwa, a couple of knock-ons, so... Mike Adamson blows his whistle and it'll be a France beat. As we all gather breath after this incredible start to the game. Quite interesting tactic here. This remains a tackle until one of the French players joins it. Hence why it looks a bit static. The ball was thrown out, took like a fear by surprise and that will be probably the only error you see from Nakawari. He's normally so good with the ball as Ben Ryan watches on with immense pride of this Fijian team. Yep, they are the series leaders, Fiji. They won Dubai, Las Vegas, Hong Kong, runners-up in Singapore. France haven't won a title since they won the Paris Sevens here in 2005. And Bakatawa's going to work again. Gives it off to Steve Barry. Bakatawa plays scrum half this time. Tries to step inside the Fiji captain, Colina Sal. Pops it back to players and crowd didn't like that. Bakatawa has stayed down here and Mike Adamson has called the penalty for France. Bit of me Bakatawa getting attention, but he's up on his feet. One of the features of this Fijian team, if you can manage the rattle them, you see here a bit of a push off the ball to his over. That is the way to beat Fiji. You try and frustrate them. So Teddy Burohua kicks the ball over the sideline. And they'll all take a breather here, scintillating, opening seven minutes here in this cup semi-final. And it's Fiji who lead France by seven points to five. Fantastic event this has been here in Paris. Back after a 10-year break, 
and they have turned it on here at the Stade Jean Bouin. Three colours flying wherever you look, and they're all on their feet as we get underway for the second half. Ravuvu chips it high, and it's brought down by Steve Barry. Perez. Is released so France can go again. Burahua to Perez. This is Steve Barry finding some space, gives it into Perez, but he just can't quite hold on to it. And they knock the ball on, and French replacements hands on edge. Big opportunity miss for France there. And this comes down to one of those elements of discipline, not necessarily just about controlling your aggression, controlling your finer motor skills. You've got broken field, you're in clear, you have to make sure you are ready for the ball. Fiji will set the scrum. 42 metres out from the French try line in midfield. So dangerous from set plays, and here comes Tua Silva. Tua Silva on Bakatawa. Steven Perez comes and lends, lends a hand to his winger. But it's a penalty to Fiji for not releasing, and Jerry Tuwai goes quickly. Here's Nakarawa. He'll run up the line and look at the offload. There it is, back to Tuwai. Vera Malua, and Vera Malua, and it's going to be in the corner. The skipper, Osea Kolinisau, will score a try for Fiji. Yes, it's been awarded. So, the lead extended for Kolinisau is 103rd try from the Sevens World Series. Lovely flick ball, expect that from Nakawa. He gets the ball away, as we've said before. Ball shifted out wide. Kalina Sao, the ever-present, omnipresent, outstanding leader. New beard, same result. So Rabuvu from wide out. We'll try and extend the lead here to nine points chips it but he's got slightly underneath that one so that will fall short so we've got a seven point game here in this cup semi-final Fiji leading France by 12 points to five and some fresh legs for France Perez is coming off and there is Julien Candelon the former Perpignan man the veteran the ripe old age of 35 years old and still going strong and looks like Viriver is out there for Fiji too but Fiji have won this kickoff. And here's Ravuvu. Ravuvu with the hitch kick. Flicks it back to Tuwai. Jerry Tuwai goes to ground. There comes the clear out. And here's Domalailai. Domalailai with the offload to his skipper. And Domalailai to Kolinisau. And has that try put Fiji in the cup final? It'll be tough to come back from, you've got to think, Fiji, absolute white hot. This is what they do. A rare rook, we don't often see them from Fiji. They try and stay away from them. Great offload once again. It's just names after names. Domalailai this time, he's the one that creates this outstanding opportunity for Kalina Sao out wide. They've got more elements to their game than you see on a periodic table. They really are a frightening concept. Unsuccessful with the conversion, so it remains at 17 points to five. But Do Domalailai, the fresh legs off the bench, commits two defenders, and Osea Kalinasau waits for it and runs it in, untouched. Plenty of support here for Fiji as well as they restart play. And it's knocked down into the hands of Terry Buahua, the captain. But he's hitting a big tackle, and it's called high from Mike Adamson. So that's Nasila Sila who's come off the bench and Guru who has stayed down there. Here's Vakatawa. Can Virumi Vakatawa find something for France here? They need a score. Just over two and a half minutes left in this cup semi-final. Here's Logel. Logel stepping inside. Goes to ground, look for support. Lakafia play scrum half to Burahua. Dalinya flings it across to Vakatawa. Vakatawa steps out of the tackle and flicks it off to Julian Candelo. And Candelo, can he oh, get the offload away? No, he can't in the spin. But all's not lost for France. They'll go back for the penalty. But Candelo has stayed down there. Big contact coming in. And let's have a listen.
Hand Alonso on his feet. Good to see you. Let's take a look at this. Yep, that is a tip tackle. And that could very well end up in a yellow card. And that is exactly what's happened. It's a red card, in fact. A red card. So could this be a game changer? In this cup semi-final, Donna Lailai will take no further part in this game. It's seven on six. Fiji leading seven points, 17 points to five. Just over two minutes left. Here's Candelon. Candelon to Dalinha. Icardi out there now. Laka Fia. Julian Candelon. Julian Candelon's through again. Steps inside. Can he find support? Yes, he can. It's Laka Fia. Laka Fia, the big number eight. Flicks it over the far side to Brahua. Can Terry run it in? Terry flicks it inside the offload. It's gone to ground. But it's Icardi now. They recycle the ball. Still a chance here for France. Laka Fia. Laka Fia goes to ground, but it's been turned over by Fiji. Brilliant defence from Fiji with six men. As they run it out now. Fakatawa trying to put in the big shot there on Lahugu. And Fiji have possession and they will run it out from their own line. One to beat for Ravuvu. On Burahua. And Ravuvu. Vatimo. Ravuvu. Can he get to the line? Can he get there? Giving chase is Dalinya. But Ravuvu will score the try. End to end stuff. And with a red card, with only six men, Fiji have just shown why they're World Series champions. You're seeing the finish from Ravubu here, but that all started from outstanding defence on the goal line. A turnover two metres away from your own line results in a 65, 70 metre run for that man, Ravubu. But from their epic defence on their try line, that is where moments can be made. That's where games can be changed. Nasila Sila will attempt the conversion to make it 24-5, but he misses that, so 22-5 it remains. This French crowd have been in great voice all day. They've seen their team play brilliantly here at the Paris Sevens, but as the clock counts down on this Cup semi-final, it will be Fiji that will see this one out and go through to yet another final this season. It'll be their fifth. Deep kick from Fiji, turning the French around as the clock kicks down. Jean-Baptiste Mazou will run it out. They'll keep playing for us. They'll keep playing for their crowd here. Offload, but it's gone to Fiji. And it's kicked over the line by Gitioni Salinger. Hugs on the sideline for Tuisova and Ben Ryan. And it's Fiji who are in yet another cup final. They've beaten 